Hello, this is Eric Kaufman on board the Rebel Heart, and uh, based on the fact that there's a big triangle staring on the screen right now, I'm sure you can guess what this topic is going to be about. It's going to be about using this handy triangle right here to find our way around on this big paper chart. I'm a big fan of paper charts, as you may know. I think that they give you a ton of information uh, in a very quick way. They allow for route planning. Um, you can write things on them with a pencil. You can erase them later. They're waterproof. Uh, they don't require any batteries. Um, they're just really great. So one of the things that you typically want to do is you want to get from one spot to another spot. Um, you may have to, you know, change and adjust your course based on tacking, based on, uh, you know, we have traffic lanes up here. You want to know those at a right angle. There's, you know, it gets a little involved, but let's go with the basics of we want to get from here to here. Now, one way we could do it, I'm going to go ahead and use my little rollers here. This is one way, and I've, I've drawn a little line here. Okay, this is my little pencil line. Your little line with a pencil, trusty pencil, trusty eraser. Um, so one thing you could do is you could do this. We could take this little roller bar here, and I can put it on my line, and then I can roll it over to the um, compass rose, find it in the middle, and that's great. So that works pretty well for this. Um, one of the problems with that is that uh, this works good because the compass rose is, you know, like a half an inch away, but it's kind of crummy if you need to go from, let's say, down here over to there because odds are you're going to move it just a little bit sideways, you're going to tweak it, and you could be off by a few degrees. And a few degrees, you know, if you're moving um, a couple hundred miles or more is a pretty big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these. These are also just, they're, they're faster and they're a lot more effective for um, doing some more advanced navigation as well. So what we'll do is we have our little line here. Now one thing I want to point out is there are meridian lines on this chart, on any navigational chart you'll have meridian lines. Meridian lines are going to run north and south, so this little line right here. Again, this line is the one that I drew myself with my pencil. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my triangle, and you're going to notice the triangle has the bottom edge, and it has this other edge right here. So bottom edge, and then this line. So I'm going to take that line, and I'm going to put that line, I'm going to put that line over, so this is important. So this line right here, is going to go over my penciled line. So we're going to move it down boop, so it overlaps it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this thing up until the center dot intersects a meridian. Okay? doesn't matter where it happens. It's going to keep moving it up until that center dot hits a meridian. And there it is. Okay? So we're going to level back out again here. Make sure that we're totally on so you can see pencil, 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 boom, overlapped. Boop, 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 boop being easy. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at where the meridian line is intersecting up top of here. And I can see that this is at about 300, 305, 306, 307, 308 degrees true. So I know that to get, if I'm at this spot and I want to travel across this line, that is 308 degrees true. And then we have to adjust that, excuse me, adjust that um, for our uh, magnetic deviation, magnetic variation, um, uh, you know, the leeway, There's a lot of things that we might have to take into account, and we're going to want to adjust this because if you can sail that exact course without, you know, this is but about 80 miles or so, so if you can sail that perfectly and not make any adjustments halfway through, uh, you are a better sailor than I am. So that's basically how these little triangles work. They are terrific, they are cheap, they are easy, they do not require any batteries at all. Um, and you can also, if you want to make long lines, you can take two triangles and you can kind of scoop them across each other, like so. Um, obviously it works better if you have two hands. So that's, that's about it. Hopefully you get some use out of the triangles. Uh, give them a shot, they're very effective, and uh, it'll make you a little bit uh, better of a navigator because you have one more tool in your arsenal. Alright, that's all. Hope we have a great day out there. Take care. Bye-bye.